Welcome to my channel. Oh Jesus, I'm getting so bad with these intros, man. Anyways, I've got like three hours before the tournament, uh, the Brawl Hall or the Friend Brawl tournament, and I gotta make a sick video in that time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the sleek webcam frame that I have for my channel. And in future videos, I'm gonna show you how to make it super dope with some animations and color changing effects. So let's jump right into it. At the end of this video, you'll have a webcam frame that looks something like this also guys i will have the download for this webcam frame in my discord server in this video guys we will be covering the gradient tool we're also going to be covering some layer styles such as opacity um, and then obviously the gradient and then we're going to be using the rectangle tool and the pin tool so we're going to get familiar with those things and then just some minor some minor things to make sure we uh, really make this webcam frame looks look something special. All right, so um, let's jump into the first step here. All right, so first we want to set our work area. I set mine to 800 by 448, which is a little bit wider than a 16 by 9 ratio, which would be like a regular 1080p. All right, so the first thing we're going to use here is the rectangle tool. We're going to set the fill to no fill. We're going to set the stroke to a black color, which that is not black. We're going to set the fill to black and we're going to change the points to 13 so make sure you have 13 point and then make sure the alignment here is on the center the first thing we're going to do here is just draw out a rectangle fit it in the outer um, the outer lines first thing i'm noticing here is we're going to have to change the corners i want rounded corners on that so make sure you change it from square to rounded all right so the next thing we're going to create are those shapes in the bottom left and top right corners uh, what we're going to use for that is the pin tool so i'm going to hold down on alt and uh, scroll up with my scroll wheel to zoom in i'm also going to create a new layer here to work on so right about one third of the way up on this side, I'm going to put a pin tool mark right around here. I'm also going to hold down on shift so I can get these perfect 45 degree angles and straight lines. So I'm gonna pull this line all the way out to this line here. This line, uh, this blue line here is what I'm talking about. And I want to make sure that it's balanced. I want to make sure there's the same amount of space between here as there are, uh, as there will be down here. It might take a little bit of a finicking to do. All right, so that was a little beefy, so we need to make it thinner. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again here. I'm gonna quickly go through this. Right, that actually looks really good. I like that a lot. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually add a fill to this shape. So I suggest using a color so you can see it. As you can tell, it fills the outside here because of the way we made this shape. So if you click on the last point of that shape, it'll attach your pin tool to it. We're gonna go ahead and just finish out the shape here and it'll finish the correct fill that on the inside. Then we're going to drag this shape below the rectangle tool. All right, in order to get the gradient, what we'll do is adjust the layer style of this image of this layer. So we'll double click on the layer over here. It'll pull up the layer style. First thing we need to do is set the fill opacity to zero. That's gonna remove the fill on the inside. And then we're going to toggle a gradient overlay. First thing you need to do is set the blend mode to normal and then we're going to adjust the gradient so if you click in this area here we can change the color the colors of this gradient now i suggest a blue and pink gradient obviously you can make the gradient whatever you want it to be i'm gonna make mine a bright blue and a bright pink i'm gonna go ahead and hit okay um and then I'm going to set that opacity to about 80% in the scale also at 80%. The angle is at 130 degrees and it is a linear style. 
go ahead and hit OK on that. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer and put it up here in the top right corner as well. So I'll right click on this layer, duplicate it, go ahead and make that copy. Make sure that this layer is below the rectangle layer as well. Pull this out, then I will go to edit, transform, and rotate 180 degrees. It'll look something like this. And wanna make sure that this is perfectly aligned like it is on the bottom. Something I'm noticing here is that these look a little bit bulky with the size of the line here. So I actually wanna change the size of these lines. So I'm gonna click on this first layer here, go back to the pin tool. I'm gonna change the stroke to 10 point instead of 13. Go ahead and hit enter. That looks a lot better. All right, now I wanna make sure I get these rounded corners set in place well. All right, so what I'm going to do is right click on both of these layers. I'm going to rasterize layer style. I guess go ahead and just rasterize layer style on both. So the reason we're doing that is so I can actually erase out this corner. So I'm gonna to go to the eraser tool, set the opacity 100%, and just go ahead and erase everything that's in this corner from this layer so we get that nice rounded corner still i'm going to do that to both of the layers all right the next thing that i want to create is this cool little shape that i have right here on the right side create a new layer we're going to use the pin tool we're going to do a no fill on the stroke or transparent on the stroke and we're going to do a black fill uh, about halfway down this 45 degree angle i'm going to place my first marker with the pin tool and holding shift, I'm going to drag down here, right about there, and still holding shift so we get that nice 45 degree angle. I'm going to click about halfway um, from that point and the wall of our webcam frame. And then we're going to make sure that this second point is a bit further down compared to our first point. And then we're going to do another 45 degree into the webcam frame wall go up and finish her off just like that all right and last but not least the final step is getting these nice inside gradients on the webcam um, as you can tell here there's a bit of a pan uh, pattern it's not a perfect gradient per se but there's a pattern here it goes from pink to blue to pink the blue to pink the blue to pink so we're going to follow that same pattern on the one that we're working on so first things first, we're going to create a new layer again. I'm actually going to drag this below every other layer. We're going to use the pin tool as well for this. All right, and on this first one here, I'm going to do right in line with the inside of this first stroke on this shape here. I'm going to put a marker there, and then I'm going to pull out just a bit straight up, straight forward. I want it to be the same, about the same width of the stroke itself we're gonna go in directly in line with this corner so following these rectangles we can hit right around there and then we're gonna go up a hair and do a 45 or in go back down and finish her off just like that all right and creating another layer i'm gonna put this below the shape that we just created again we're going to do the same fill we're using the pin tool again and about halfway on the shape that we just created I'm going to make a mark and then I'm going to go all the way up to this corner. I'm going to put a mark there and then I'm going to go a bit of the ways out on this side. We're going to 45 degree in, boom, just like this. Make sure we go all the way down and just like that, we're going to close it off. So um, I know that I didn't really explain that but the best, but I was, I'm hoping that you guys can follow those steps. And, and understand exactly what I did there with creating this shape. Now with these two layers, if I hold down on control, I can select both of those layers. What I'm going to do is rasterize those layers. And then I'm also going to merge the layers. So it's one layer now. And then I'm going to add a gradient overlay to it. I'm going to set the blend mode to normal. It should have the same exact gradient settings that we had before. Um, I accept for, I want the opacity to be at a hundred percent. And then let's go ahead and take a look here. It's not too bad. There's only one thing that's driving me absolutely crazy is that I went way too far out on this side here. 
I'm gonna grab the eraser tool. I'm actually going to do my best to keep a nice 45 degree angle and just erase off that edge there. Something I'm noticing is on this webcam frame, um, the gradient here is actually the opposite of the gradient on this frame, whereas it's pink to blue instead of blue to pink, what, it, what we currently have set up on this webcam. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse that gradient. There we go. And then we're going to apply that same logic for each one of these lines here. So go ahead and finish off these lines and then we'll move on to the next bit. All right, and once you have everything in place, guys, this is exactly how it should look. I mean, to be honest with you, I like this webcam more than the one that I created previously. This one just looks a lot more clean, more vibrant. The colors are more beautiful. All you need to do at this point is export the file and upload this image into Stream Elements or onto OBS and start using the webcam frame. The only issue you might run into is the fact that the webcam frame might be a bit bigger than the webcam that you have set up because of the aspect ratio difference. The way we can solve this problem is by applying an image mask to your webcam using a filter in OBS. I'm going to show you guys how to do that, but first we need to make the image mask layer. All you need to do is use the rectangle tool, set the fill to black, so make sure you have a black fill on that, and just fill in the area inside of this webcam frame. So make sure you fill the entire area, and then go ahead and um, toggle the viewing on each one of those layers so all you see is just this rectangle. Export this rectangle as an image mask layer and then head over to OBS. All right, now that you're in OBS, all you need to do is right click on your webcam layer, click filters and add a image mask slash blend uh, filter. On the image mask slash blend filter, what you need to do is set the type to alpha mask in parentheses alpha channel. Then you're going to make sure you select the image mask layer that you just created, which should just be that black rectangle that you just exported. Once you select that, all you need to do is hit close and it should shape your webcam to the shape of the webcam frame that you just created. You know, for recording a video in, a, in roughly two hours time, this isn't too bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, guys, this webcam frame is available for download in my Discord server. So if you're not in my Discord server yet, you should definitely be there. We also offer free help when it comes to setting up audio or video related things for streaming or video recording. So if you need any help with technical stuff, we can get you some help in my Discord. Also guys, if you like content like this and if you just like free stuff given away to you all the time, that's what we do on this channel. I make stuff and I give it away. So if you like that type of content, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to know when I release my videos. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video guys. And I'm gonna come at you with some more dope content here in the future with this webcam frame and how to make it even cooler than it is now. Thank you again so much for watching. Hit that like button and I'll catch you next time. Deuces.